Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, market down 335 points. We know the same old story. Nothing has really changed in the market. But what I thought I would do today is do a little tutorial video on how to read an SEC filing. Now, there we're going to use iBio as an example just because the level of stupidness that we are seeing tweeted out there regarding the filing that iBio did a couple of days I just thought it was a perfect learning opportunity for you guys and, you know, to highlight the ignorance that is out there when it comes to really what is a pretty simple thing to read once you know what to look for. So, you know, let's jump it right in right now. This is a Form S1 filing where they're going to sell shares of stock. And, you know, once you open the SEC filing, you scroll down a little here and you start getting into the meat. This is what the clowns think. Holy crap, they're selling 23 million shares of iBio at 61 cents. Oh my God. This came out when the stock closed at, well, it was at 95 cents on Monday, closed at 86 cents on the day, and the ignorant read this and they go, holy crap, they're selling shares at 61 cents a share, uh, 23 million, I'm getting the hell out. And the stock sold off over the next couple of days and we've been posting about how it was okay to accumulate. But that's a whole nother story. So we look here and this is a registration fee and it says proposed maximum offering price 61 cents a share. But there's a little notation here. This is where all the details usually are. You read the notes. So we go down to note three here. Estimated pursuant to rule blah 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 for the sole purpose, sole purpose of calculating the registration fee. How much they pay to do the filing doesn't mean they're actually selling the stock at 61 cents. That's what they use to calculate the fee that they pay the SEC. All right, that's, you know, simple enough. We saw a lot of those uh, tweets this afternoon around uh, regarding them selling the shares at 61 cents, etc., etc. All garbage, as you can see, based on this price. So we scroll down a little bit more. It gives us the perspective. Uh... Resale of up to 23 million shares to Aspire Capital Funding. Now, you recall back on August 26th, iBio made a deal, $10 million deal. It says right here, $10 million deal made on August 25th to sell up to 10 million shares of stock. They initially did a listing of $1.8 million, and the stock actually ran on this. What this essentially is, when that news came out in August... It sometimes can take a few weeks. In this case, it took, what, almost six weeks for the SEC to okay that registration statement. And that's what this is. This makes official what the news was on August 25th, 26th. So it's old news, essentially, which the stock ran up on. So we scroll down here. Gives you a lot of, you know, stuff to read. You know, the company information, blah, blah, blah. A lot of fluff. One thing to keep in mind on SEC filings is they repeat a lot of the same information. So you just it's just a matter of scrolling down through and looking for key information. Here is the offering right here. 23 million shares. Uh, outstanding as of this filing was 67 million shares. Um, so, okay, there we go. We're going to scroll down a little bit more. And then we get into the meat of what actually happened. And it talks regarding the August 25th deal that happened. Okay. Um, this is the section where you will find the actual details regarding whatever financing or proposed financing is. is. So, you know, we scroll down here trying to see if we can find any meat and, you know, nothing so far. We scroll down a little bit more and then we get to the meat. After the SEC has declared it effective, any trading day on which the closing price of our stock exceeds 44 cents. So this is the floor that they put on this financing. When they announced this financing back in August, the price was, I believe, 40 cents or thereabouts. So they put a floor that they couldn't do any financing once the price exceeded that, you know, 44 cent price. Then you read right here, we, as in iBio, has the right to present to Aspire Capital a purchase notice. So lo and behold, this is not an actual 23 million share financing done on Monday night, which is what we said. It allows iBio to require Aspire to purchase 
Oh my goodness, 150,000 shares of stock a day. Holy crap, that's millions, right? Nope, 150,000 shares a day, providing that the price shall not exceed 500K. So essentially what that is, say the stock price is at a dollar, they could require them to issue up to 500,000 worth of stock. So that'd be about, uh, you know, if it was at a dollar, it would cost them 150,000 shares. Let's say the stock was at $3, then they could do up to $500,000 a day. If it was at 10 bucks a share, all they'd be able to do is 50,000 shares because it would exceed that 500K per day thing up to 9.7. Okay, so there we go. That's another little nice little quirk on that. Usually after this section, you'll see what the other criteria is for these financing. So we read a little bit down below, and there's been a lot of uh, Twitter posts regarding, oh, it's at 44 to 60 cent or 61 cents. So then we go, oh, look, it's a volume-weighted average price. Okay, so volume-weighted average price. You know what that means? It's the average price of the stock for a number of days. In this case, we're going to find out how many days it is. There's also a little note in here that anytime iBio can decide to say, okay, we traded 3 million shares of iBio on Monday. So in that case on Monday, iBio could have said to Aspire, okay, we want to do a million shares. That's the quirk where they can actually do more than the 150K, but it still has to fall under the 500,000 dollar per day transaction limit so really that doesn't mean a whole lot of everything at this stage you scroll down a little bit more and then there's a lot of re repetition in a lot of these but each of these different sections you kind of need to look I mean we know what words to look for 500k 150,000 are the words we need to look for so even though they're kind of repeating it we might find some more information so we scroll down here and in this section here, we get into the meat of it, where we get the $150,000 per, or 150,000 shares per day, and it's based on the market price over the preceding 10-day period. So you take average price over 10 days, and that's how you get what the offering price will be. So in this case, you know, it's based on a 10-day average, and if we take the last 10 days, uh, Closing prices. Now, sometimes this volume weighted average can also be based on intraday trades as well, but we're just going to go off the closing price. And the average price of the stock over the last 10 days, including today, is 70 cents. So we read down here regarding how this thing is calculated. So they have a couple of criteria in here. Criteria A is that the average price is the greater of. 80% of the closing price on the preceding day or B, a higher price based on the closing price on the average day or 97% of the weighted volume price for our stock based on the last 10 days, that would be 67.6 .6 cents and they would be doing 150,000 shares if the company chose to do it. One of the key things to remember here is iBio is the one who controls this financing. They can decide that they need cash and then they come to Aspire and they go, we want to sell you guys 150,000 shares. Here's the calculation. They agree on it and they do it. They could do that every day for the next two plus years, actually two years because it is a 24 month uh, agreement. So then we scroll a little bit lower, see if there's anything else we need to look at. You know, typical default notices. They also have the no short selling or hedging by Aspire, but as we know, um, most of these companies are crooked and, and find ways to go around the law, but you know, th there it is. So hopefully you got a, an idea of how to read the absolute nonsense that's been going around regarding this financing as we went over. The 61 cents is based on the closing price just to do the registration statement. There is not 23 million shares hitting the market. If we were to assume that iBio was able to sell $150,000 worth of stock a day, it would take them 63 days, which uh, with five days a week, we're thinking three plus months of doing it every single day for them to even come close to this 23 million shares. So. A lot of uh, misnomers out there. The SEC filings contain the details. It's just a matter of digging through the repetitive information 
knowing what areas to look for and going from there. So hopefully that uh, explains how to go through and read the iBio one. Perhaps we'll do some of these different SEC filings uh, going forward. So any questions, send me an email, feedback, buy, sell, short.com. Have an awesome evening. Bye.